Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss the classification of superclass spices. The superclass spices is divided into two classes: chondriocytes and osteocytes. These chondriocytes are having the cartilaginous endoskeleton, while osteocytes having the bony skeleton these chondriocytes from the chondriocytes we have to study the only two examples from one order that is the hypotromata hypotromata from order hypotromata we have to study the two examples one is the pristis and another one is the torpid then from the bony fissures of the osteocytes we have to study the specimens from three orders one is a cypriniformis another one is a belloniformis and the third one is the ophiocephaloformis from the cypriniformis we have to study the five examples of the pisces or fishes the first one is notopterus second one is clarius third one is katla fourth one is rohu and the fifth one is mrigal from the belloniformis order we have to study the only single example that is a flying fish exocetus and from the last order that is the ophiocephaliformis we have to study the one example that is the ophiocephalus so this classification you have to write down on the blank page or on the drawing page then next is the general characteristics of superclass spices the spices are the aquatic either freshwater or marine they may be the uh, they are the cold blooded vertebrates their body temperature changes as per the environmental temperature the skin is covered with scales or various types of the scales dermal denticles or bony plates the presence of paired and unpaired fins supported by soft or spiny rays then dorsal caudal and anal fins in pisces are unpaired while the pectoral and pelvic fins are paired in fishes the tail is muscular and used for the swimming or the propulsion purpose the endoskeleton as we have earlier discussed it is cartilaginous or bony in teleostomy it is bony while in chondriocytes it is a cartilage organs of respiration in pisces are gills but accessory respiratory organs may also be present in some fishes for the respiration so they can survive outside the water for some time the lateral line system is very well developed in the pisces on the lateral side both the lateral side of the body the cranial nerves are 10 pairs in fishes and sexes are separate and development is indirect these all are the general characteristics of the <coughs> superclass pisces then the first example that you have to study from the pisces that is a pristis or this pristis fish it is commonly called as a sawfish it having the long rostrum and it having the teeth like projections on that and therefore it is commonly called as a sawfish the classification of the pristis is phylum chordata group vertebrata subphylum gnathostomata superclass pisces class chondriocytes order hypotremata and the genus is the pristis
This pristis is commonly called as a sawfish. Body, it is shark like, elongated, depressed, and the, it is divided into head part, then trunk, and the last portion is the tail. Head and the skull prolonged into a long flattened structure, and that we call it as a rostrum or beak, which is a saw like. That having the on the lateral margins of this rostrum strong teeth or denticles which give it an appearance of the saw. As in the shark, the mouth is on ventral side. The dorsal fins are large. First dorsal fin is opposite to the pelvic fin. This is the first dorsal and this is the pelvic. This first dorsal fin, it is opposite to pelvic fin. The fish is invaluable for liver oil and high vitamin value. The tail is well developed and terminates into a heterocircle caudal fin. Heterocircle means both the uh, sides are different sizes and shape that is called as a heterocircle type of the tail. So these are the characteristics of the prestige, the diagram and the classification you have to write down, draw on the drawing page and the characteristics you have to write down on the <coughs> lining page. Then second example that is the torpedo. This torpedo it produces the electric current and therefore, this is called as an electric ray. That is because of the presence of the pair of the electric organs. The, this electric ray, it is classified as a phylum chordata, group vertebrata, subphylum gnathostomata, superclass is the Pisces, class is the chondriochis, that having the cartilaginous skeleton and order is the same as the earlier of the prestige that is a hypotrimata and the genus is the torpid. It is the electric ray and body it is dorsoventrally flattened. Anterior part is a subcircular disc and the posterior region that we call it as a tail. The disc is supported with the pectoral fins. The skin is smooth and doesn't having any scales on the body. The spiracles are present behind the eyes. These are the spiracles which are present behind the eyes <coughs> and five pairs of gill slits are present and ventral in position. Pelvic fins are la small and present behind the pectorals. These are the pectoral fin and these are the pelvic fin. The vivi these are viviparous and produces live young ones. Along with that, it having the first dorsal fin and the second dorsal fin and lastly tail is covered by the caudal fin. So these are the characteristic features of the torpedo or that we called it as an electric ray. Then the third fish that is from the osteochits or the, this is the first bony fish. This is the notopterus. The classification of the fish is phylum chordata, group vertebrata, subphylum gnathostomata, superclass Pisces, class osteochits, order is the cypriniformis, and the genus is the Notopterus. We have to discuss the five examples from this order that is the Cypriniformis. Genus is the Notopterus. This Notopterus, it is commonly called as a Chitla or Chital and body is strongly compressed and having the very minute scales over the body. The head is small and bears a large mouth. White eyes and nostrils. Snout is prominent and the dorsal fin is very small 
anal fin is much elongated this is anal fin it is a much elongated and confluent with the caudal fin it continues as a what caudal fin the air bladder is very large and it is commercially important as a food fish they are the characteristics and the classification of the notochords then next comes the another fish that is a exocetus exocetus it is commonly called as a flying fish here you can observe the what this is a pectoral fin it is very large and it is adopted for the flying purpose the how it is classified the phylum chordata group vertebrata sub phylum gnathostomata super class pisces class is the osteochaetes order is the beloniformis and the genus is the exocetus exocetus is commonly known as flying fish the pectoral fin are enormously elongated to form a wing like structure they serves as a parachute to sustain the fish in the gliding leaps or in gliding position pectoral fins bear the black spots on it the dorsal and anal fins this is the dorsal fin and this is the anal fin are short and supported by the fin rays tail as hypobatic that is the ventral lobe of the tail fin is large the ventral portion or the ventral lobe of the fin is the large and the dorsal is the small then it is considered as a good edible fish head has large eyes wide mouth and both the jaws bear the teeth body is moderately long and covered with overlapping cycloid scale so these are the characteristic features of the exocetus which belongs to the belloni forms now the last example today is that is from the cyprini formis example is the clarius batracus this fish it is it having the four barbels and that we called so we can call it as a what the catfish it is commonly called as a catfish due to presence of the barbels it is classified as a phylum chordata group vertebrata sub phylum gnathostomata super class pisces class is the osteochaetes order is the cyprini formis and the genus is the clarius but this clarius batrachus the body doesn't having any scales over there and it having the four pairs of the barbels along with that it pectoral fin having the spines the clarius batrachus it is commonly called as catfish or mangur the body is elongated scale like and measuring up to 45 cm in length general color of body is uniform brown or grayish black or dark black barbels as earlier discussed are four pairs one maxillary one nasal and two mandibulars the upper jaw is longer the dorsal fin is long and without spine extending up to the caudal fin anal fin is also long caudal fin is more or less rounded pectoral fins are provided with the spines accessory respiratory organs that is a dendriform organ is present in this fish thus this fish can live out of water in moist condition for long time near about 24 hours it is highly nourishing and esteemed as a so we have discussed today the five species of the fishes you have to draw this diagram write down the classification and write down the characteristics of this and also you have to write down the scheme of classification and write down the general characteristics so of the superclass pisces